Okay. okay, so like, what's your favorite part about it? Hey, how you oh. guys doing? Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? We're busy. You're busy? Well, are you going to be busy this weekend? Because the Game Makers Toolkit Game Jam's happening. Oh yeah, my uh, computer is scheduled to be on fire tomorrow, so I I can't. Yeah, um, my house is flooding. Well, looks like I'm doing it alone this year. Once a year, there's a massive game development competition hosted by the YouTube channel Game Makers Toolkit. The GMTK Game Jam is back for 2023. The last few years, my friends and I have made some incredible games together. A drunk thief joining forces in the walls. But this year, and for the first time since 2018, I'm going at it alone. In addition to the tight time limit and massive size of the competition, I have the extra challenge of linking whatever game I make to an ongoing connected universe between all my projects. The pressure is definitely on, but thankfully, this isn't my first rodeo. And the theme this year is... Roles reversed. Okay, I can definitely work with that. I spent some time brainstorming and ultimately came up with two ideas. The first was to take the cat levels from Drunk Thief Returns. Don't worry, I'll make a reflection video on that eventually and turn those levels into a full game. My other idea was to remake an older game I had called You Picked the Wrong Dungeon and just modernize it. Initially, I actually picked the Drunk Thief project. I named it Drunk Thief Catpocalypse. After only about 30 minutes, I realized I really wasn't feeling this project. I'm not quite sure what it was, but I did end up switching to the other idea I had. That idea was to reverse the hero's journey. Rather than playing as a weak hero and growing stronger to accomplish great things, you play as a villain being depowered to achieve evil things. With the concept in place, I began working. I got the player movement in, followed by an aim reticle and a camera that tried to keep both in frame at the same time. I gave the player a bow. At this point, I, I really wasn't liking this project either. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was just how beautiful it was outside. Regardless, I ended up backing out of the game jam and meeting up with a friend. Six hours later. I got back around 11 p.m. and feeling recharged, I began working again. I added an enemy that can follow the player around. I programmed a very simple AI where the enemy will attack when the player is in range. To implement the theme of the jam, I decided to make the player level down rather than leveling up. I got that menu in and decided to call it a night. I woke up around 1 p.m. the next day and had an idea to make it so two stats would be dropped per round instead of just one. That would effectively double the pace of the game. I added in a bunch of other test stages to get everything working correctly. I got a health bar that appears over the player and the enemies. I made the tutorial map to teach the player the very basics of the game. I took a break and went outside again. It was super beautiful. I ended up actually going to church that night. Three hours later. After I returned, I got the cutscene at the end of level one working. It was important to me to establish the premise correctly rather than just dropping it in out of the blue. I then skipped all the other levels and began to work on the final cutscene to make sure the game was story complete. I got the player defeated menu working after that, and then to finish it off, I got the main menu going. I got a prologue written and really struggled to come up with a good name for the character. I landed on Gemini for the time being, but eventually turned it to Apollo. I took some time and created some art for the game. Party sauce! I've learned that a good first impression is super important when it comes to games, and even a little bit of texture on the main menu can do a lot. So I tried to create a fire effect like everything is burning. I did this by mixing three different particle effects, embers, smoke, and more smoke. The result was actually super satisfying. At this point, I only had around 12 hours left. I accepted the fact I wouldn't be getting any sleep and continued the grind. I added in a note to the tutorial to show that you are not the hero of this story and to fully reinforce the idea of roles reversed. I began to work on the other levels in the game. I started with level 2, the dungeon, which turned out really nice, but then tragedy struck. So I went to stretch my leg and I accidentally hit the power cord and uh, my computer just fully restarted on me. This is not what you want to see at 2 a.m. during a game jam. Thankfully, I only lost 10 minutes of work, but it did give me a heart attack. I got level 2 finished, followed by the rest of the levels. Then, while I was testing the game, I discovered that my health bar code had a pretty massive flaw in it. I had to code up a solution, and thankfully it wasn't too difficult. With the health bar fixed, I got enemies added throughout the game. I went in and added sound effects everywhere into everything I could think of. I got the music added in to complete the actual experience of the game. With that, the game was feature complete, and I got it uploaded. At this point, I was down to four hours left, and feeling satisfied with what I had created, I went and took a well-deserved nap.
Babe, it's the last day of the game, Jam. You gotta get up and finish. Uh, it's, it's a tough floor. Oh. I got it. Oh my gosh, you gotta I get got up. It. It's, it's good. You're asleep. You need to get up and finish. No, it's, it's fine. Look, I'm, I'm good. I'm Where good. are you going? My people need me, okay? My people need me. Uh, babe, you gotta get up and finish. No, it's, it's fine. So, after my little nap, I got back online and continued polishing. Due to the itch.io servers crashing, the competition got extended an hour. I had my friend Jared play through the game during this time. Uh-oh. Is this not how it's supposed to be? <laughs> no, you're supposed to be animated. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Alright, well that's a bug. Alright, keep going. He found some last minute bugs. I fixed right as time was running out. I don't know if it's gonna upload in time. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I literally got the Windows and web version uploaded with two minutes and one minute left respectively. With that, I went out and touched grass in a well-deserved victory lap. The game is up on itch.io to play for free. I've been getting some great feedback already. I might add more to the game like a challenge mode and maybe some loot to find once the competition is over. If you'd like to play it, the link is down below in the description. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a YouTube video. I actually gave up all social media in June. It was the happiest I've been in a while. My next video is going to be on Rogue Royale, which was my attempt to merge a roguelike and a battle royale. I'm excited to show you what I created. Subscribe for when that comes out. If you're early and that video is not yet out, check out my previous video where I made a speedrunning game where failure is progress called Death Percent. Thank you for watching, and God bless.